Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Uh, today I'm doing a tag, I'm doing the Summer Book Bay tag. So this tag was created by MJ from Reading This Life and she very kindly uh, tagged me in her original video for it as well as, um, so I was in the video as well because she got a load of booktubers to um, film little clips for her um, which were rather entertainingly woven into the video. Um, so thanks for that MJ, that was a lot of fun. There are 12 questions for this tag so without further ado um, let me dive in and apologies if I keep all glancing over there because I need to read the questions. So the first question is, summertime is a sexy time of year. Uh, is reading sexy? <laughs> I don't think it, I don't, I don't know. Is, is reading sexy? I don't think reading sexy. It's kind of a solitary thing, isn't it? Um, and I'm not sure summertime is that sexy either, because I mean, it's sexy in that people wear less clothes. So I suppose that's sexy, but it's, you get all hot and sticky, don't you? Which I'm not keen on. Um, so I'm, I disagree that summertime is a sexy time of year, I'm afraid, MJ. And also, I don't think reading is sexy. Um, so yeah. Um, next question, um, random meetings. What fictional character or author would you enjoy meeting at a backyard party or cookout? Um, so I would like to re meet Travis McGee from the Travis McGee books by John D. MacDonald. Um, he seems like someone who would be very at home um, at a cookout like that with a, a beer in one hand or a cocktail in one hand and a, and a burger in the other. Um, and he's just a really chill guy. So if you don't know the books, he's he's a really interesting detective character who spends half of, half his time just kind of bumming around on his houseboat and the other half finding things that have disappeared, uh, which inevitably leads him to uh, get involved in solving crimes and things like that. So he's a fantastic character, very funny, uh, very cool. Um, so yeah, I would like to meet him at a barbecue. Um, next question, opposites attract, name two characters uh, from different books or genres you would love to see coupled or partnered up in a story. Uh, so for this one, I thought I would go with um, Ollie Weeks from the 87th Precinct books. So Ollie is a, um, is a disgusting detective who has um, no, takes no care at all about personal hygiene and things like that. Um, is really bigoted, just a really awful human being, basically, but also a fantastic detective um, and really, uh, you know, really dogged and, you know, always puts in the hours to, to catch a criminal. So I would like to see him partnered up with or going after Dexter um, from the Dexter books, because I think, uh, by, so they're by Jeff Lindsay, aren't they, I think. Um, so I think Dexter, A, I think Ollie would love to catch Dexter, um, but also I think Dexter would be so repulsed by, by Ollie's um, personal hygiene and so on and so forth that it could be quite entertaining. Um, so yeah, I would like to see those two pitted against each other. Um, next question, um, get outside. Do you enjoy reading outdoors? So yes, I've said this on the channel before, um, reading outside in the garden um, on the kind of morning of a weekend um, is one of my favourite pleasures, so I really love sitting outside before it gets too warm in the summer, when it's nice and cool outside. I've got a nice little spot where I start to get the morning sun um, as it comes around the side of the house. Uh, so I do like sitting out there with a cup of tea um, and reading my book in the morning. Um, next question, preference matters. What method do you prefer for outdoor summertime reading? Physical book or e-reader? Um, I don't think I really have a preference. If I uh, if I were to think about it, I guess I would say an e-reader because my Kindle is waterproof and you know there's always a chance of getting splashed with water from a paddling pool or hose bath or whatever um, when you're reading outside in the summer. So the, the Kindle will be a safer choice. Um, but honestly, I don't really have a preference on that one. Um, next question, what is your favorite summertime beverage? Probably either just water i do in the summer really really like water um or maybe an iced tea i do i do like iced tea um quite a lot a long sweet iced tea is very pleasant um next one recommend a summertime read so the title of this one makes it an obvious choice but it is a really wonderful summer book as well and that is summer book by Joe Jansen, uh, which is a lovely book i have mentioned it on the channel before so very different from the sort of thing i read i normally read uh, but about a young girl um, spending the summer with her grandmother who lives on an island off the coast of Finland. Um, it's just a really, really lovely book. Really sweet, really gentle, really relaxed and really captures kind of summer vibes and the, the kind of joy of being a kid in the summer holidays. Um, next question, uh, where is your favourite... Oh, I missed a question. 
Hold on. No, I haven't missed a question. I've just done them in the wrong order. Um, so apologies. I've got the last two questions the wrong way around. OK, next question. Where is your favourite vacation holiday destination? So the my favourite place I've ever been on holiday for like a relaxing summer holiday um, was the Maldives, where I went uh, on my honeymoon. Um, so it was a very long time ago now, but it was absolutely fantastic there. Completely relaxed, completely um, like beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So it's the sort of place where you can do nothing um, and still enjoy being there just because it's so beautiful and so relaxed and just wonderful so the indian ocean is just so calm and, and blue and beautiful um and yeah the, the beaches are lovely it's a, a fantastic part of the world um next question recommend a book book set in a unique or exotic location uh, so for this one i'm going to go with caribbean kill um by don peddleton so that's he sees mac Bolin, the executioner um taking down the mafia on a caribbean island um, so not necessarily one of the best in the series, but definitely above average. It's a really fun, a fun one as he goes up against. He so teams up with a female agent um, from the FBI, I think, um, and goes after these gangsters in the Caribbean. So there's there's beaches, babes, and guns. It's awesome. Um, next question then: Have you ever asked a total stranger what they're reading, or have given a book recommendation to a stranger in person? So. I don't know that I have. I might have done. I've certainly um, been, I've certainly been recommended books by strangers, but I'm not sure if I've ever recommended a book to a stranger. And I don't think I've ever asked a stranger what they're reading either. Um, I do know that um, a while ago I did one of those um, reading things where there's like different prompts. And one of the prompts was ask a, a bookseller or a librarian for a, a book recommendation. So I asked a librarian in my local library um, who I'd never met um, before, so who was a stranger, for a book recommendation. And she recommended to me The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon, which is kind of a, it's not YA, but it felt a bit like YA, uh, kind of dark, well, I don't know, I don't know if it's urban, urban fantasy, dark fantasy, science fiction, kind of a, a form of fantasy. Um, and it was okay. I didn't think it was great. I didn't read any more books in the series, but yeah, it was it was okay. So my one my one time of having done that wasn't a huge success. Okay, next question. This is a penultimate question. So recommend a newbie book bay booktuber. Um, so for this one, I'm going to recommend Heather the Librarian, um, who's got a really fantastic channel. So her videos are quite um, kind of simple and stripped down, I guess, but she's got always got something interesting to say and talks quite a lot about kind of um, horror books in particular. Um, so yeah, I really really enjoyed her channel. I don't always agree with her opinions on books, but she's always got something interesting to say. Um, okay, final question. Name three book bay uh, booktubers, or book, no, three booktube bays. Too many bees. Uh, name three booktube bays to do this tag. So I'm going to name, um, and I don't think any of these people have done it yet or been tagged. So I'm going to name um, Andrew from It Came From The Page, Pax from Pax Panic, um, and Alice from Alice and the Giant Bookshelf. OK, now's that time when I um, pluck a random book from my shelves and talk about it. So um, today I've got Street Lethal by Stephen Barnes. Um, so I've had this book for absolutely ages. Um, I read a review of it online. On I think it might have been on Boing Boing, the, uh, the kind of pop culture blog. Um, I'd read a review on there ages ago and they, they raved about it. So I immediately bought a copy and then I've just put it on my shelves and not read it. Um, but it's supposed to be really cool. The, the blurb, the start of the blurb is brilliant. Um, Los Angeles is a war zone where life is cheap and plague-ridden ghouls stalk the streets. Um, so it does sound fantastic. I think I've read a couple of books by Stephen Barnes that he co-wrote with other people. Um, but I don't think I've read anything that was just by him. But if you have read this, do let me know um, if it's any good. Um, if you've got this far in the video, then leave me the um, emoji with sunglasses on like this guy on the front cover of the book um, to let me know you've got this far. So thanks as always for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, and as always, hope you are really good stuff. I hope you're safe and well. And I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.